What is happening, beautiful people of the... <laughs> that was a weird ass intro. I'm sorry if I freaked you guys out. So yeah, today I decided it's time for a change. You know, I've been working at this office for a little over four years now, and it's gone to a point where I am running out of space. The shelves no longer have enough space to hold up any more parts, and the boxes arriving for projects are filling up half of the entire room. All of this is basically the receiving end of my office. Any new products that arrive get stored in this area until I shoot the massive tech unboxing video. And to give you guys a rough idea of how many boxes I get each week, this is how many boxes I had when I shot the biggest unboxing video on the channel with over 50 boxes. Well, that video was only three weeks ago from the time I'm shooting this video and I cleared the entire side. There were no more boxes after that video. Well, here's what it looks like just three weeks later. We are already covering the entire backside and it's still filling up every day. We even have some boxes over here on this side that is starting to pile up. So after I'm done unboxing everything, I recycle the boxes and then I put the stuff on the wall shelves that you see behind me. But the problem I'm facing right now is that I'm running out of space to do that. As you can see, the office is a complete mess right now. I mean, this is a pretty good problem to have, I'm not gonna lie. This means I get tons of new items to create content on, but at the same time, it's starting to affect my mental health. There's something to be said about working in a clean environment. You know, if I work in a messy environment, it really affects my mood. I feel like I can't concentrate as much and it really affects the quality of my work because I'm easily distracted by the mess around me. There might even be some chemistry involved. You know, I'm not a chemist. I've actually failed chemistry in college, but I feel like if you work in a clean environment, you know, if your setup is nice and tidy, that it somehow impacts your dopamine and serotonin levels. And that in return helps you stay motivated. And I feel like it also impacts the quality of your work as well. So I thought, why not make a video and show you guys how I'm gonna be organizing the office, maybe a little behind the scenes to show you how I shoot my videos, and finally an office tour, because it's been a while that I've done one on the channel. But yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and start from the first floor. So my office is actually a two-story building. The bottom floor is uh, supposed to be a garage, which you can tell by the lift master up there, but I've converted it into a tiny studio where I shoot my videos. I've even added this massive tan colored rug on the bottom so it's more comfortable to walk around and also it's great for sound absorption, which by the way, I've even added um, some acoustic panels on the garage door. I cut them out in rectangular pieces and I kind of filled up the entire door, which is great for sound dampening. And I even added a few bass traps in the corners of the room. So there's one over there, there's a couple in that corner, a couple in that corner, and a couple more in that corner. These actually do really well in terms of sound dampening. And then we got the famous filming desk right smack in the center. I'm sure you guys have seen this set up millions of times with the, uh, with the nano leaf panels in the back. Um, this is where I stand and I talk to the camera, sometimes to myself because I forget to hit the damn record button. It happens way too often. And I got some lighting um, around me as well. I got two soft lighting on the sides to give me a little bit of highlight on the, on the corners as well as depth. And then I got the main source of lighting, which is the Aperture LS300X, which is the brightest studio light I could find in the market. But the coolest thing about this lighting is that I can control it anywhere in the room using this remote. So depending on the type of video I'm shooting, I can control the brightness. So let's say I wanna dim it down a little bit to add a bit of a dramatic, uh, dramatic tone, then I can just press the button, dim the light all the way down, kind of gives me a bit of a dramatic lighting, or I can you know, bring up the brightness by pressing the plus button. And this thing gets really bright, you guys. I'm gonna show you the maximum brightness on this, which actually blinds me if I max it out. But yeah, absolutely love this lighting that I picked up from Amazon, I think about six months ago. So super convenient. Now in terms of audio, I used to use the Sennheiser MKH416 condenser microphone, but the setup process on this takes a while every single time. Sometimes I just wanna to get to the office, turn the camera on and start recording. So instead of this, I use the Sennheiser lavalier microphone that I hooked up to my phone. This is actually really convenient because my files get stored on my phone and I can basically transfer the files using Google Drive so I can get home, download the files and start editing as soon as possible. And I have the microphone hooked up underneath my shirt. I use double-sided painter's tape to cover both sides of the, uh, the microphone. That way it doesn't pick up the friction of my t-shirt when I'm moving around. So a quick little you know, tip for you guys. 
if you want to avoid that. But yeah, this is my microphone setup. Super convenient. So the camera setup I'm using to shoot 99% of my videos is the Sony a7R 3 with the Sony 24-70 f2.8 zoom lens. This thing is an absolute beast. I love that I can zoom in practically you know, as much as I want or zoom all the way out. It is a very versatile lens. I use it for B-roll, I use it for A-roll, pretty much all my shots that you see on the channel. And then I got the camera hooked up to the Atomos Ninja Flame. This is a seven inch display hooked up via HDMI to the camera. And this is actually really great in helping me monitor autofocusing as well as exposure. So yeah, that's pretty much it for behind the scenes. Nothing too exciting if I'm being honest. Uh, this is how I've been shooting videos for the past four years or so. Um, but let's move on to the actual office tour. So everything behind the camera and the main lighting source is what I like to call the receiving end. So any boxes that come in for unboxing will essentially get stored right there. And then next to that is the main entrance to the garage. So we'll start off with the corner of this room. And I basically have a dedicated shelf for all my PC parts. So it's easy for me to find everything. So the top shelf has, I would say about half of the fans in the office. I don't want to stack any more on top of that. Otherwise, um, it becomes unstable and they start to fall off. The second shelf is where all the CPU coolers are. So AIOs, air coolers, anything of that nature goes there. Obviously I'm running out of space. So I stored the rest of the AIOs temporarily on the floor. And then the heaviest items are on the bottom two shelves. So, you know, power supplies and more power supplies. <laughs> all right, so moving on to the next shelf, we have the CPUs up top and a bunch of motherboards filling up the rest of the shelves. I don't have that many CPUs. Uh, the main reason for that is because I try and get rid of any multiple CPUs I have. I don't like hoarding a bunch of parts for no reason. It just takes up extra space that can be used for other new parts that arrive. So I either try and sell them or give them away on my Discord server. Speaking of giveaways, this over here is all the gear that I gave away on my Discord server recently. By the way, shout out to anyone from my server that is watching and want any of these awesome prizes. Shipping is gonna take a while since I have to do these in small batches. Otherwise the people at my local post office is gonna find where I live and probably harvest my organs at night. I don't wanna piss them off by bringing over 20 boxes in one day. But anyways, what I'm trying to say here is every month I add tech to the prize pool and I give them away to my Discord members. It could be literally anything from the office, stuff that I don't use anymore, outdated PC parts like the GTX 1060 for example, uh, duplicate parts or just tech that I don't have any plans featuring in my videos. For example, in September's prize pool, I gave out the Radeon 7 graphics card and the Titan XP Pascal. I think it's the same one I licked in that one video. I'm just kidding, I'm not really sure, but um, both of these cards have been only used once and they've been sitting on my shelves gathering dust. So I'm glad to give this away to uh, some lucky members on my Discord. I think there's some other GPUs as well. I gave out an RX 570. The GTX 1060 as well as the 1050 Ti so some outdated GPUs as well but anyways yeah this was basically the entire prize pool of September. I do have an easy method of shipping these out I have these tiny little uh, sticky notes that I attach to each prize and that has the person's name and address so I can just take it to the post office create a label and then ship it out so once I'm done sending all of this out I'm gonna be adding more tech to the prize pool for the month of October. So pretty cool stuff. Anyways, moving on to the third shelf, which I like to call the Holy Grail. This is the GPU shelf. Again, I don't have a million graphics cards as you guys probably expected. And that's because I try and get rid of any extras and then I still have a bunch in other previous builds that haven't been taken apart just yet. So you got the top tier Nvidia GPUs on the top, starting with the RTX 3080 couple of 2080 Ti's which aren't even in order that's fantastic uh, we have some 2080 Supers as well all the way to the 2060 and then moving down we have the mid-tier GP what the hell is this one doing here you don't belong in the middle shelf did the top GPUs bully you to the middle shelf it's okay they're just jealous they're jealous because you're more powerful here I'm gonna put you near the top here I still love you okay that's that's what matters. Anyways, we got the mid-tier GPUs in the middle and then we got the peasant GPUs on the bottom. And then we got a couple storage bins over here in the corner that holds most of these smaller items, which doesn't make sense putting them on, you know, big shelves. So we got some memory sticks on the top. We got some more memory. We got some more memory. 
And then these bottom ones, I believe, are storage. Oh, we got some more memory here. Jesus, how much? How many RAM sticks do I have? So we got some SSDs, some M.2s, and then near the bottom we have a bunch of miscellaneous fans that don't have any boxes. We got some more fans over here as well. Speaking of which, if you guys are a fan of the channel, consider dropping a like if you're enjoying the video so far. And then we got another storage bin over here. This one I think just has miscellaneous things like extra screws for builds, a bunch of USB hubs and uh, extensions for RGB and fan connections, nothing really exciting here. We got some SLI bridges and V-Links, custom cables and more custom cables down here. Now this shelf is actually my favorite shelf in the entire office because it has a toilet paper. I'm just kidding, I only use the toilet paper when I'm lonely. The reason why this is my favorite shelf is because of all of the water cooling gear. This is the water cooling shelf, I like to call it. I got an organizer that I bought from Amazon for my fittings. I'm sure you guys have seen this when I took apart Big Red, but I basically labeled each of the drawers so it's easy for me to find the correct size and angle for the fittings. And then in the middle, we have some more custom cables, some soft tubing in this container. And then near the bottom is the rest of the water cooling gear. We got a bunch of radiators, some more fittings, pump, res, CPU, and GPU blocks. I mean, I got enough gear in here to water cool my entire house. Let's just say that. And then moving on to the fifth and final shelf, which is miscellaneous slash peripherals. We do have a couple headsets on the top there. We have a few laptops. I actually had about 10 laptops before, but I did sell half of them and gave away the others because who the hell needs 10 laptops? Let's be realistic here. And then we have the keyboards and mice slash mouse pads on the bottom here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let's go on to the top floor. All right, so the top floor is basically where all the cases and monitor boxes are being stored. As you can tell, I'm kind of running out of wall space at this point. I'm gonna have to start stacking more of them on top of each other to make room for the new cases coming in. So I would say about half of these cases will be used for future builds on the channel, while the other half are pretty much retired. Uh, there is one case I do wanna show you guys. This one is actually really cool. Let me get this out of the box and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So check this out guys. This is a custom modded Lee & Lee Dynamic OB11 case with a Kobe Bryant theme. I was gonna use this to build a really nice Lakers themed water cool PC and pay tribute to Kobe Bryant. But sadly, COVID hit the US around March and the company that I was going to partner with to make this happen, which was Primo Chill and Bixky, backed out because they didn't have enough stock. So the case has been sitting in the office since March of this year until I can get the parts to build it again. I'm really hoping to get this project done by January 26th. So yeah, this is pretty much the top portion of the office. And then in this area is where I do all my painting because there is a window over there. And I use this fan to blow out the fumes. And then over here on the right is a tiny little area where I guess I, could, I can call it my break room. I do have a small table here that I use to eat my lunch while playing Raid Shadow Legends. And there's a pullout couch in the back as well, which I use often to get my beauty nap. And over here in the corner is basically a charging station where I used to juice up all of my um, camera gear. So that is my office tour, guys. Um, I'll be here for the next two years, maximum two years. I'm hoping to move out within that time frame because I'm looking for a new home and I want my new home to be big enough where I can work from home. As much as I like this office, convenience-wise and financially speaking, it makes more sense to work from home. And that is currently my goal. All right, so with that said, it's time to clean up the office a bit and install these new shelves I picked up from Amazon. I got about five or six of these, which are gonna be a lot bigger than my current ones, and they're gonna give me much more room to store my parts. So with that said, take one final look at the office because everything's gonna change. Two days later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after two full days of cleaning, installing the wall shelves, and moving a bunch of things around, we are finally done. And this is my new office. Check it out. Here is the new TechSource headquarters, ladies and gentlemen. I am absolutely loving 
the way everything turned out. I can confidently say that I am now really happy to show up at work every single day, just knowing everything is organized and ready to go. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death going through every single thing I've done, so I'll just go over the shelves real quick and then I'll wrap up the video. So these are the two shelves I installed side by side. This entire corner is dedicated for basically cooling and then we have power supplies on the bottom. Now the shelves I picked up from Amazon actually only have five shelves, but I did kind of a big brain move. I reused some of the old shelves I had lying around to add two more on the top. So I'm essentially adding about 20% more storage for each shelf. So yeah, we had uh, coolers and AIOs pretty much in the top half and then near the bottom, the heaviest items, which are the, uh, the power supplies. And this entire shelf over here is dedicated just for fans. We got the Corsair fans up top. We got some other Lian Lee fans in the middle and then the miscellaneous fans near the bottom. So yeah, pretty much that's what it is for this corner. And then moving our way towards the right, we have two systems that I built on the channel that I'm still using for future projects. So I haven't taken those apart. You probably remember the uh, the Asus Tough 3080 build. And then that was the, uh, the Minecraft RTX PC I built a while back. But anyways, next to that is this new shelf for the motherboards and then we got still CPUs on the top. Both of my beauties, my Threadripper beauties over here sitting right next to the, uh, the Intel Core i9s. And then we got motherboards essentially organized by platform. So we got Z490s on the top, we got um, AMD boards in the middle, and then the big boys, the thick boys all the way on the bottom. All right, and then moving on to the middle, nothing really exciting here. I did just manage to clean up all the items on the desk. This is still a work in progress, you guys. It is still happening. This is the dual system water-cooled PC that I'm still building inside the Lian Lee DK05 case. Hopefully, hopefully I can get part one done by end of October. And of course, we got my favorite rack, actually my second favorite rack, which is the GPU rack. I also managed to organize them as well by putting the beefy cards up top. We got the mid-range cards in the middle, and then we got the, uh, the peasant cards on the bottom. But you guys can see we have a ton of extra space to work with, so I'm no longer gonna stress for storage space when I do get in new cards. All right, so moving on to the new and improved water cooling shelf. So I organize this shelf by category mostly and then brand. So near the bottom, we do have radiators from uh, Alpha Cool and Rajantech, followed by a bunch of EK Quantum fittings, GPU, CPU blocks, pumps, res, and then we have Corsair right above that. And anything up top is essentially just miscellaneous things. So it could be anything from fittings to, you know, all the tools I need to do my bends. We got funnels, we got the draining system, cleaning kit whatever I need to do my uh, water cooling builds. And then I got these awesome hefty storage solutions I picked up from my local hardware store. These actually do an awesome job in holding the smaller items, which you know don't make sense in storing on shelves. So these two bins alone are just holding EK quantum fittings. That's a lot of fittings, you guys. So yeah, absolutely awesome job of organizing fittings or small things. So I have a bunch of these as you guys can see near the top of the shelves. And finally, the last wall shelf in the office, which is pretty much the same as last time. You know, we still have the peripherals near the bottom, keyboards, mice, headsets, you know, mouse pads, whatever. And then the top half is essentially dedicated for water cooling gear. So I did move my fitting organizer over here in the center, so it's more convenient. I do have my toolbox right next to that because, you know, I need convenient access for this when I'm building a PC. And finally, we have some um, a bunch of custom cables on the top drawers. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the shelves. I did move the tiny cubbies over here towards the right, so it's you know more convenient next to each other. And I did go ahead and organize every single drawer, so it's more neat. So I can sleep better at night, of course. I guess I can show you the receiving end one last time. I did move all the boxes from the right side to the left and kind of organize them a lot better. Uh, so all of these will be unboxed in the next unboxing video. I'm pretty excited about that. And it looks like the monitors have finally arrived for the budget 144 hertz gaming monitors under $200 that I've been highly requested by you guys. So stick around for that. Give me a couple weeks to get that video up, up for you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Man, it is such a relief to finally clean and organize my office, you guys. You have no idea. I've been planning this for over six months now and I never got around to it because I've been so busy with videos. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna stop production. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna clean up and organize my office. Just by standing in the center here, I'm feeling really good, you guys. I'm feeling really good. My dopamine is, is skyrocketing. I'm super excited to actually come in to work tomorrow 
and start shooting videos. That is how happy I am. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and want to see more of these vlog style videos, I guess let me know by dropping a like and let me know in the comment section uh, what do you guys think about my new office layout? Is there anything you would change or recommend? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be reading them. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love your beautiful faces and I'll see you very soon in the next one.